What's going on everyone, Mike here. Welcome to another Symphony tutorial. Today we're going to talk about reason codes. Although the Symphony system has reason codes for multiple options, the ones that we are most familiar with are the void reason codes. Let me show you an example. I'm going to sign in to the system here and pick up the check that I have open. I have an Ahituna on this check, so I would like to void it off. I'm going to highlight the menu item and click the void key. Once I click the void key, I get presented with all of these options. These are the void reason codes I have programmed in our system, and they are excellent for reporting in order to identify issues with the restaurant. If we find that the vast majority of items are voided because of the wrong item, a wrong check, or order too many options, then we might benefit from some front of house training. If we find a lot of 86th, object in food, or kitchen error voids, then we might want to take a look at some training for the back of house staff. Now, if we take a look at our list here, we can see that I have a kitchen error void reason code, but I do not have a server error void reason code, which I would like to add now. So let's take a look at how we would do that. In order to make changes to the void reason codes, we need to sign into EMC and navigate to the descriptors tab. We can see all of the reason codes in this section here, but the one that we're interested in are the void reason codes. Notice that these can be changed at the enterprise level or the property level. Make sure you select the correct level where you want to add it. I'm going to add mine at the enterprise level and then I'm going to open the module. We can program up to 64 void reason codes. But for my purposes, I'm just going to place it here at position 10 and I'm just going to call it server error. Now, in order to identify if this is going to be a void return reason code or a waste reason code, I have to check the option bits here right next to it. So I'm going to click on the ellipsis here and you can mark it to be used for void or returns or you can use it for waste. Since we don't use waste, I just have option number one checked and next I'm going to save. And it's that easy to add or remove or change void reason codes as needed. Now let's go back to the workstation and see how that worked. So here we are back at the workstation. The first thing I'm going to do is click a quick update to make sure that my changes come down. Next, I'm going to sign back in, open my check backup, select the Ahituna again. And when I click the void button key, now I can see my server error option here. All I have to do is select it and click OK. And now my check is done. I can go ahead and just close it to cash since this is just a zero dollar check. The Symphony system also has reason codes for other modules such as payment. If we open this, we can go ahead and add different payment reason codes and then program particular tender medias to request for those void reason codes. To do this, we're going to have to go to the tender media module and enable option bit number 82 from the ops behavior section. Whilst I wouldn't do this for cash or credit card because that's just going to drive the employees insane, you can use it for particular tender medias that are used not so often, such as a house account. If you want them to prompt for a reason why they are using the house account, you can add those reasons there. Another way to do this is to check option bit number five instead which instead of showing them a list of options that we programmed, it will just present a keyboard which they can enter any information that they want. We can also add loan reason codes, pickup reason codes, if we need to specify reasons for picking up certain checks, or even service total reason codes. You can attach a list of reasons to be presented to the servers or managers if they need to use maybe the send, the print, the reprint key, or the suspend. All of those are service totals. We already looked at the void return reason codes. Next, we have time clock reason codes. If you are using the Symphony system to track employee clock-ins and clock-outs in conjunction with a schedule system, then you can add reasons for why they are early or why they are late. Next, we have TMS reason codes. These are the reason codes for the table management system. And we can add different reason codes why we abandon reservations 
or why the guests uh, didn't want to wait anymore on the wait list or anything like that. So we have waited too long, guests changed their mind, could not accommodate and so on. And finally, we have the cache management reasons where we can add different reason codes for anything such as paid ins, paid outs, transfers, adjustment of cash deposits, and so on. So this is the way we have our reason codes programmed in our Symfony system. Let me know in the comments below how you have programmed yours and what you would do to improve them. If you are interested in more Symfony tutorials, we have created an entire platform that will teach you everything you need to know in order to maintain your Oracle Micro Symfony POS system. You can also ask for help from our programming team. You can access everything by visiting simsupport.online. And as a special thank you, I am also including a coupon code for you. You can find all the details in the description below. Leave a like if you found this helpful and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.